And this is the conversation we're having right now. I'd like to hear your questions. Best. Send them through at Trevor Mbidi at Citizen TV Kenya. Use the hashtag Monday Report or text us on 22422. Joining me in studio now is Dr. David Gikung, who is the director of Kenya Metrological Services. Thank you so much for making time for us, sir. So are we still expecting El Nino rains or not? Trevor, that is something I would like to debunk right from the beginning of this show. Okay. The El Nino is with us. Okay. If there is going to be a change, you will hear it from me first. Okay. Yes. We have given the forecast. Mm -hmm. The El Nino is with us. And the story about there being no El Nino and rainfall just being enhanced, I think uh, there is some misinformation somewhere. Okay. But I'm here to correct the situation. So the true position is that El Nino is here? El Nino is here. Okay. What I could add is that no two El Nino events are the same. Okay. Um, it is okay to compare events like that one of El Nino with all its, the devastation that it caused. But um, they are never the same. There have been several over the years. I think we started seriously studying that and tracking from probably around 1960. Mm -hmm. But there is an estimation that it could have started way back even to 1900. Okay. So there have been several events, but uh, they are of different magnitudes. Okay. I think, Dr. Kikungu, the, the biggest confusion is coming from the intensity of rainfall. Yes. That's where people want clarification with, because you're saying that the Lino is already here. There are certain places that there's a bit of rainfall, yes. but it's not as much as people expected. What are you seeing from your scientific research? What we are expecting is that, uh, for example, Western Kenya, where it's been raining in the month of September. We expect that that will continue okay. even into the period where we expect the El Nino to set in. And when is this? That is um, mainly from the second week of October, okay. this month that we are in now. That's when El Nino kicks in proper? Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, we expect that to continue into the into December, there is a likelihood of uh, getting into January when we still have heavy rainfall. Okay. And um, the peak of the event is expected to be in November. November. Yes. Peak of the event. The peak of the event is in November. Just for clarity purposes, can you explain to the people what El Nino really is? because people think it is rainfall. Um, they are not wrong, but um, to explain it simply is that uh, El Nino is a climate pattern. Okay. Um, it originates from the Paci Pacific Ocean. And um, the, 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 it, it runs along the equator. The, event has its normal status. Yeah. What happens is that the reversal, mm -hmm. which is yet to be determined what causes it. Because in general, you have winds flowing from the east towards the west. Okay. There will be dynamics that cause the winds systems to change. And one of the reasons would be temperature, higher yeah. temperatures than normal. Okay. In an event like what we have, the El Nino event yeah. is accompanied with warming of the waters of the seas. So the water will also rise? The water will also rise because of the higher temperatures. Okay. Yes, and um, then there is a major reversal now from the normal. Okay. So, so what is the difference between above average rainfall yes. and El Nino rains? Because your assistant said that we're expecting above average rainfall. Okay. Uh, l l let's start this way. Okay. We have a normal season that is governed by the rotation of the earth 
around the sun. Mm -hmm. But figuratively speaking, it's normally easier to, to explain as though it is the sun that moves south and north. Okay. As it moves, it hits the ground under it. Yeah. And heated air rises. Once that heated air rises, yeah. uh, what is created? Low pressure. Mm -hmm. And air occupies space. Eh? Okay. So that the, 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 the winds from the oceans are moist. They will come and occupy that space. Mm. Since, they, since they are moist, when the temperatures are good enough yeah. or high enough, they will rise and it falls back as rainfall. Okay. There is a cloud band that we refer to as the intertropical uh, convergence zone that moves north and south, and that is what marks our seasons. Mm -hmm. That is a normal situation. When we have this climate pattern that we are calling El Nino, yeah. when it comes, it enhances the rainfall that would normally be there, even if it was not there. Okay. And um, that is what we are faced with. There is something else that goes with El Nino. Yeah. We observe, we have observed two points uh, near our coast yeah. and also around in Indonesia. Yeah. The difference of temperatures. Mm -hmm. And that we refer to it as Indian Ocean Dipole. Okay. Yeah. When it is negative, we know its effects. Okay. And it's been that way for a long time. Okay. When it is positive, and it coincides with an El Nino event, yeah. that margins is a sure story about the event as we are waiting for. Okay. Enhanced rainfall. So we're waiting for enhanced rainfall. We are waiting for enhanced rainfall because the Indian Ocean Dipole yeah. and okay. the El Nino are all right. In agreement. Doctor, stay with me. We'll come and explain this to the common one inch and find out what is the difference between enhanced rainfall, above average rainfall, and Nino rains, all that coming up in just a bit. But for now, let's take a quick break here on the Monday Report. Send in your questions at Trevor on Bidget Citizen TV Kenya. Use the hashtag Monday Report. See you in just a bit.